Hello guys, welcome back to this Mercedes Sprinter van conversion. In today's video we're going to be making the bed frames and installing them in the van. I was talking to a real good friend of mine Glenn the other day and I asked him if he knew of anybody that could weld some aluminium frames for me. He put me in touch with this guy called Jed who's a metal fabricator and we're on a little field trip now off to see his workshop. So while I'm driving there, why don't we jump in a SketchUp and just have a quick look at the design. Okay, this is the latest internal design for my Sprinter. Let's have a closer look at the bed section. What we've got is two folded angles down the side of the van. These are going to be securely fixed to the main structural member with some riv nuts and then the bed is made of an aluminium box section framework and it's made in three sections. It's bolted to the angles on the side of the van and then all we have to do is just unbolt those and we can lift each panel out one by one, lay them down the side of the van and then that will give us full height access for when we're loading a bike. Eventually what we'll do is have these individual panels upholstered separately so that they come out as one piece. I've just shown a bed in here just for a visual. Let's just remove the bed. We can clearly see the three individual frames there. They will come out one at a time. I'm also going to make this centre panel here removable. There'll be some concealed fixings. This panel will just pull out and then that will allow us access to load the bikes. And as you've seen when I was doing the flooring video, I've kept those tie down loops that were in the van originally. So we'll be able to put some ratchet straps over the bike and securely fix it in position. This will be the setup when we're transporting the bike or when we're moving around in the van. And then when we get to our destination, we'll simply remove the bike and reinstall the bed panels. Let's get back to Jed's workshop. We're inside G Thompson Engineering. Looks like Jed's already made two of the frames. Let's watch the process of making the third. As you can see it's trying to snow again. It's really cold outside and everything we touch is going to be cold. But we've got a soldier on, we've got deadlines to meet, we've got to get this van done. 
So let's get in there and get cracking. What we've had made is a folded aluminium angle. This angle is going to get bolted to this main structural member of the van. I'm going to drill some holes and then we're going to put some riv nuts in here, 8mm. We're going to drill the aluminium angle with an 8mm hole and then we're going to put some high tensile bolts through the aluminium into the riv nuts in this main structural member and that's going to hold that nice and securely to the van. I've pre-marked where I want the holes to be on the aluminium angle and I'm going to take them into the workshop and drill them first. Now we're going to drill an 8mm hole through this aluminium angle and we could probably do that all in one go because the aluminium is quite soft but I like to do it in a couple of stages and not bite off more than you can chew. So we put a 4mm drill bit in the drill press. We're going to drill 4mm holes first and then we'll come back and make them larger with an 8mm bit. Previously drilled these out to 4mm, now I've got the 8mm bit in here and we're just going to make these larger. That should now accept the 8mm bolt. There we go. Nice big penny wash around there. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the aluminium frames. I've been down to my local DIY shop and I've got them to cut me some 12mm hardwood face ply which is going to form the bed base. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to screw these plywood sheets to the aluminium frame with some self-tapping screws. Just drilled a pilot hole through the timber and through the first skin of aluminium. Just put a small countersink there. And then the pilot drill was slightly undersized. This is a 4mm screw and I've used a 3mm pilot drill. So the thread will still bite into the aluminium. Go. We'll just continue around until it's all securely fixed. I'm doing these at about one foot or 12, 12 inch, 300 mil centers. That's all the screws fitted, holding the ply to the aluminium frame. These corners are a little bit sharp, so I'm just going to ease those with the trim router with a small quarter inch radius round over bit riding on this little ball bearing and that's just going to ease that corner a little bit. Just ease those corners a little bit, a tiny bit of sandpaper just to take off any of the little splinters and then what we'll do is I'll probably put a coat of polyurethane varnish on that just to protect it a little bit. Just 
We've rounded over the corners with the trim router. We're giving it a nice light sanding, removed any splinters. And now we're just going to give it a couple of coats with a water-based polyurethane varnish. This will just help to protect it, seal the surfaces against any moisture. And just make it last a little bit. only got uh, two screws holding it in either side at the moment but as you can see you know once we've got the riv nuts in down the side and we've got this tied to the angle and these sections just with a couple of bolts holding them together this is going to be plenty strong enough for our bed yeah really pleased how this has come out so that's the bed frames all put together I've just put them in the van temporarily for the moment and I've just held those angle brackets in with a couple of screws. I really wanted to show you how to install these riv nuts today but unfortunately this cheap riv nut tool that I bought on the internet broke the first time I tried to use it. So that should be a lesson to me really, don't buy cheap tools. So hopefully next time we'll have a short little clip of me doing these riv nuts and just making sure those brackets are nice and tied in. And when we've got that bed frame bolted to those angle brackets, I'm going to put a couple of additional bolts to just hold it together, stop it sliding around. That's going to tie the whole thing in really nice and tight. And I know one or two of you are probably thinking, oh, there's a little bit of flex on there. I can see, you know, that'll, that'll bend and whatever. Let me assure you, you know, that is really strong. So I'm quite happy with that. If you've got any questions on any aspect of this build, please do leave me a comment below. And if you think any of my videos will be useful to other people, please make sure that you share them on social media. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.